Okay, guys, um, we're gonna have this recording just to um, make up for the part of the class that didn't record. So uh, we have our air standard gas turbine that uh, has regeneration. And the net electrical output is 20 megawatts. That means that out of this generator, we're getting 20 megawatts. of electrical power. And this regenerator has a, an efficiency of 90 point, uh, 96%, okay? Uh, we have all the points, all of these are actual points. And we are asked to find out the mass flow rate of the air in the gas, tur uh, in the gas turbine, the overall efficiency from thermal to uh, electrical, the effectiveness of this regenerator. We want uh, we want to find out the efficiency of the compressor, and finally we uh, want to see how much did we improve the efficiency by using this regenerator. So we're gonna start by uh, saying that this generator has an efficiency that we computed, that we define it as what we want. What we want out of the generator will be electrical power. And what we need to provide here is mechanical work, is the network that comes from the power plant. So this is my network, okay? And we know that this is 20, 20 um, megawatts and this is 0.96, so we can solve to get the net power that we are introducing to the generator by dividing the electrical power by the generator, okay? So this gives me 20, 20 megawatts, which is 20,000 kilojoules per kilogram, divided by 0.96. I have 2,000, uh, 20,000. 833.3 kilojoules per kilogram. This is the network that is coming out of this power plant. This is also equal to the mass flow rate of air that circulates through the whole system times the network. So if I can find the network, I can find the mass flow rate. So the mass flow rate will be the net power divided by the network. How do we get the network? Well, the network is difference between the work that the compressor, the, the, the turbine produces minus the work the compressor consumes. And from first law, we know that the work, let me erase this. By first law, we know that 
the work of the turbine is H4 minus H5. And the work of the compressor is H2 minus H1. We know all these values. For instance, this work of the compressor will be 637 minus 30. So it will be 337.1 kilojoules per kilogram. While the work of the turbine will be H4, which is 2251.1 minus H5, 1462.5. So this is 700 and 788.6. Uh, If I do the subtraction, I have I have my uh, my work. So net work will be four hundred and fifty one point five kilojoules per kilogram. Now I can get my mass flow rate and my mass flow rate will be the 20,833.3 divided by 45, 1.5. So it will be 46.14. Kilojoules, kilograms per second. Okay, so the mass flow rate is 46.14. In the problem at class, we have uh, 46.1. We just add another one. Okay, <clears throat> now we need to find out the overall efficiency, and in order to find the overall efficiency, We need to multiply all the efficiencies involved. So we'll have the thermal efficiency times the generator efficiency. So we need to find out the thermal efficiency. Let's move to the next one. And the thermal efficiency is the one we always define which is the network divided by Q in. It doesn't matter if we do it with capital, with power or with specific heat, because the factor is still the same, mass flow rate. So we already know this network. We know that is 451.5. Point But we need to find the Q in. So Q in is just H, if we go back, is H4 minus H3, is where I am adding heat. So if I go back to do the, to get the numbers, H4 is, will be 2251.1 minus H3, which is 1,256.3. So my Q in is 994.8 uh, so, If I divide this,
uh, I have my efficiency, which is 45.38, 39%. Okay. So now I can get my overall efficiency. And this will be, let's, let's get the expression, the thermal efficiency, which is net work or net power, divided by Q in, because it's what I want, divided by what I need to give, times the electric efficiency, what I want, the electrical power, divided by what I need to provide, the mechanical net power. So these terms cancel and I can just multiply 0.4539 which is the thermal efficiency times 0.96 which is the, like, the generator efficiency and this gives me 43.71% okay So we put it here, 43. Okay. Now we need to find out the regenerator of the, of the uh, effectiveness of the regenerator. And this regenerator, we said that will be Qmax. And Q actual divided by Q max and this will be actual will be H3 minus H2 and the maximum will be if this temperature is the same as the temperature 5 so it will be H5 minus H2 if we do the regener this analysis with this data, we find out that this was 75%. Okay. Now, we mentioned that we don't need to find out a, a, an EAST program. We can do it with our tables. We're just going to indicate and I, I will ask you to do it at home. So for the for the isent for the isentropic efficiency of the compressor it will be easy just to write this. We know that we this expression will be H2S minus H1, H2A minus H1. And we know one and two are actual from the table, so we need to find H2S. So let me draw the compressor here. We have state one and state two. And what we and and, and we know the pressure ratio to be 10, right? So P2 over P1, and we get that from the table. Okay, if we assume constant variable specific heats, We will do PR2 over PR1 equals P2 over P1. PR1, we can get it from temperature 1. And we know temperature 1 is 300.
we solve for temperature two. And with that we get H2S because this expression that we have here is only valid for isentropic process. Okay? Finally, we have the question of um, how much did we gain? And we said, okay, if we want to know how much did we gain in, in, in uh, efficiency, we're going to change this to green so we can differentiate. And we're going to say that if we want to know how much did we gain, we need to eliminate the regenerator. Okay? And if we eliminate, then the heat will come from 2 to 4. And that was the situation before we have the regenerator. So let's write it here. Before the regenerator. Okay, so Q in will be mass flow rate times H4 minus H2. And this will be, let me erase this line. So minus H2 and this will be uh, mass flow rate we said is 46.14 yes times the difference between H2, H4, and H2, which is 2,000, 2,251.1 minus 637.5 is 1,613. So 1,600. Uh, thirteen point six. So this QN in the in the past is seventy four thousand four hundred and fifty one. Point five kilowatts. So the all the efficiency was the same amount of power that we are producing, which is ten twenty thousand will be 20,833 let's check 0.3 divide by 74451.5 So the efficiency used to be 27 
98%. So we can compute the increase in efficiency by um, 45.39. Minus this, and let's do it with a different color. So the change in efficiency was 17.1%. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. Uh, do the error that I have in Zoom. And let me, just for the problem that we're gonna solve, explain this. <clears throat> the, what we have here is the normal arrangement of the, of the generator. When we are, what we are asked to find out is a different arrangement and see if it's more efficient or less efficient. So let's uh, draw it here. We have our heat exchanger. And we have the two inlets. And it says that state two and five enter on one side, and three and six into the other side. So if we draw it on a the length versus temperature, temperature versus length, we're going to see that two to three is the cold stream. So this cold stream will start here, and we'll start to warm up. So this is point two, and this is point three. On the other side, uh, the turbine, the, the stage five is the highest temperature in the whole system. And we're going to have higher temperature. Let's sit here. I will start going down. So this will be four, sorry, five, and six. And we're being told that at the end we have a temperature difference of. Six degrees. Okay. When we analyze the normal arrangement, we are missing one data. We don't have the uh, we don't have the effectiveness. So what we're going to use in order to compare is we're going to assume that this temperature difference. It's also six degrees. Okay? Okay, guys. I hope that this helps and I am uploading this to Canvas.